there and welcome to Miss Magoo's Creations. I thought today we would take a look at the Epiphany Crafts um, embellishment maker and I think they officially call it the uh, Epiphany Crafts EC Shapes Studio. Um, and what this is going to do for us is instead of paying four or five dollars a piece for embellishments that look like this, the nice bead embellishments that have the pretty paper behind, um, that you can only use on certain things, certain colors. Instead, it's going to allow us to create embellishments for any page. And I thought we would go through and demo it and see how well it worked. Now, I've already made a couple. Um, these little hearts. And it, so it just allows, it just creates them, and then there's no sticky on the back unless you make it that way. Um, but you probably could put, you know, sticky back paper in there. It just would kind of gum up the works. So, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to use this little, uh, paper from Max and Whiskers and, uh, we're going to just go ahead and pick one of these cute little animals. And there are two parts that we have to be concerned with here. The first part is the punch itself. Um, it seems to be extremely sturdy. Uh, extremely well built, so that's exciting. Uh, the punch comes with two pieces. It comes with a punch, and then it comes with a little insert here that you put in. And basically, what this does is it gives the punch something to press up against when you put the um, the embellishment in there. And so that when in, you'll see how we do this. So, what I thought I'd make is a little cat head um, embellishment, since as you well know. Um, Miss Magoo is actually a cat. And I'm going to take this clear embellishment and I'm going to do my best not to touch it because I've found that they pick up fingerprints. So try not to touch the sticky side. So sticky side down in, right on top of where you want to put your paper. And if you screw this up, it's okay because you can just slide it and recenter it. And then what you're going to do is take this piece, put it right back on the top, you're going to close the lid, and then you're going to give it just a little bit of force to push down, and you can totally push down right on the desk, and we should have an embellishment. It's that easy, and it matches our project and everything else. So we'll take this piece out, take this piece out, I should be able to slide the paper right out, and you'll see where it cut that nice hole. And now we have a cute little kitty cat button to put in the center of a flower or um, as, as a replacement of a button on any of our pages. You can get these punches to do all different shapes and sizes of these clear um, dots. I bought just the most basic one. Uh, each punch is 28 bucks, so it tends to get a little pricey, at least where I purchased them from. And um, the sheets of the little dots are about $6.99, or $5.99, excuse me. So it's cheaper than buying eight embellishments at $4, though they're beautiful. Um, but it gives us a little bit more option as well as to what we use them for. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I think it's a great device. I can buy these acetate sheets with um, little holes in them so that it looks like buttons. And then I can use the same punch because they're the same diameter. But the other ones just have little button holes in them so then I could just use a paper punch and knock those out. I didn't have to spend another $28, though they, they do make a die for that. So anyway, I want to thank you all today for joining us on Miss McGoo's Creations. And I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into the new Epiphany Punch. I will definitely put links below as to where to find this punch, both locally here in Fort Collins and um, on the internet. So I hope you all have a good day. Thanks.